All right, guys. Well, I know it's been a while. Did you miss us? Well, we're back. So we wanted to do an end of 2020. Can you believe it's almost over? How many of you, by a show of hands, are happy that 2020 is exiting the building? <laughs> Woo -woo, both hands, right? Oh, my gosh. What a year. I mean, we're not even going to get all into it. What we want to do is we want to do a very quick forecast, what we think is going to happen in 2021. So, Fatima, tell me what do you think is going to happen, particularly in the Bay Area? There's been a lot of interesting social changes, right? We've seen a movement from cities into the suburbs. So the East Bay, North Bay, Marin, the Peninsula, all places where there's more single family residences mm -hmm. is booming, right? Yep. People are leaving the cities, condos going down 10 to 20% in price. Yep. What yeah. are your thoughts, 2021? Well, for, for folks that really want to be in San Francisco and you want and you're okay with the condo market, you're getting it at a big discount, more than you have seen in years. So that's going to be a good thing. So for folks who really, you know, who wasn't able to get in the condo market the past couple of years and you're okay with that, then that's the time, you know, it's, you're getting it at a discount. The next thing is entry-level housing, like homes that are like 650 and under are hot. And the reason why is it's similar to like, if you put even like, three to five to 10 percent down very similar to what what rent has been so that's why a lot of the housing market all over the east bay has been hot crazy is because it's if you could find a way to have down payment or get a gift from your family or get um you know 401k money to help with your down payment you'd be surprised it's very similar to what your rent would be so i think it's going to be I think consumer confidence is going to be higher. So I think that, uh, I think it's going to be good. How about you? Yeah, I think uh, to share your, your sentiment here, I think consumer confidence is going up as we speak. That's the sound we hear in the background. Mm -hmm. Look, we're really in a new year. We know that the vaccines are being distributed. All great news, right? Mm -hmm. We are also going into a new political climate. I think that uh, people are taking a big collective sigh of, of uh, just a breath just mm -hmm. to have something different, right? And I think that that whole fighting that we had been seeing politically is starting to subside somewhat. So regardless of what your political inclination is, the reality is that people just feel a little bit more at peace. And I think that that increases and boosts consumer confidence. I think 2021 is gonna be one of the record-breaking real estate years. And I think a lot of it has to do with consumer confidence. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that rates are not going to go up precipitously anytime soon. I don't see rates going past 4% until maybe 2023, Q1. So we have some time, guys. And I think you who are watching, who have been waiting on the sidelines, should be very, very enthusiastic and very motivated mm -hmm. in 2021 to buy. Because, for example, like you said, condos are at a discount. Where do you think those condos are going to go as far as price goes in the next two to five years? Hello, equity, mm -hmm. right? You buy now, equity later. Again, I've always said this, real estate. What other investment can you live in, get tax write-offs and get, and get all that equity and take advantage of things like uh, the capital gains exemption rule, right? So by the way, on that note, we have very creative ways where even if you have very low down payment, we can help you. We have some ways that we've done creatively and legally, of course. Also, I'm super happy that the conforming loan limits went up. So in the higher priced areas, it was 765, 600. Now it's 822, 350. I mean, it's a $50,000 bump. That makes a lot of difference for a lot of people, which means it doesn't throw you into a jumbo loan which means there's more flexibility in debt to income ratio. There's more flexibility when it comes to loan to values and also credit scores. Don't let hurdles get in the way. If you think you can't, your brain won't allow you to. But if you think you can, you will. Mm -hmm. What's the number one key? Make sure you have a team. I've said this for many, many years. Get the right team. Who's the right team? People who are knowledgeable, people who have hustle, and people who are humble that it's not about the commission check, it's really about helping you get in. And I can't stress that enough, whether it's Fatima and I, which we would love to help you, mm -hmm. you know, we'll always give you an initial uh, consultation for free, a whole hour where we can That's brainstorm awesome. and put a strategy together. 
because mm-hmm. it's about strategy. You can't do this happenstance. Absolutely. You have to be tactical about it. There's certain ways to get offers accepted, which by the way, she's awesome at doing that. She's also very great at finding deals. I've seen this for many years and I've worked with her. And you know what? I'm 100% committed to you on the loan side to forecasting and locking in your loan when there's a dip in interest rates. I know how to do that. I'm very tactical and I'm very, very scientific about it. Very Mm -hmm. left brain about it. Let us help you because we can and we want to help you. And that's the other part too is the hustle. Um, No, I mean, it's exactly like you said, have the right team with you, because if you feel like you have the support, then you feel like you could really do anything. If you feel like you're by yourself and you feel like you're doing a lot of the work on your own. You get paralyzed. I hear people say, I'm working with an agent, but I'm, I don't really just feel like they're not really, they're just showing me what I send them, or there is really not the skill set that's out there. Um, also, Great. mortgage broker, if, if you feel like you can't get a hold of your mortgage broker and you feel like they're hard to get a hold of, they don't explain much to you, I think that's also really important to yeah. kind of. Do or they're just reading from a sheet what the rate is. It doesn't work like that. Look, on any given day, there's 10 to 26 different interest rate options. Did you know that? It's not a singular number. So many times they go, well, what's your rate? Uh, it's not a rate, it's rate suck. Yeah. Let me educate you. Let me show you how this really works. Because believe me, I will show you the wizard behind the curtain. I'm going to show you exactly how this industry works, which has not been explained by people. They like to hide behind that. I don't. I'm very transparent, very honest. And I have what I call my Bob program, which is I can either beat it or bless it. So if you have a better deal, I'm going to tell you, you know what, go get that deal because it's way better than what I have. Because yeah. I'd rather you come back to me later on knowing that I'm honest. That makes sense? So this is how we roll. This is our hustle. And we're here to help you. Do not let external forces keep you from the dream. Yeah. And, you know, so I have somebody like that contacted me the other day. They were like, well, my lease is up in seven months. Okay. Well, it's a great time to plan. You know, so if, if, it's, oh, if, yeah. if, it's, if you just signed the lease or you have eight months left or whatever it is, you have a year. It doesn't matter because maybe we need that time to plan. You know, maybe we need to figure out how to get your credit up if we need to, or if we need to work on your down payment source or um, wh- whatever it is. Cause sometimes there's homework to do, but maybe that will be the time that we need. So that when you're ready, you don't have to wait. Or the flip side is maybe you keep the lease anyway, because what if Fatima can find you a, a property that already has 50 to hundred grand in equity already built into it. I've seen you do it many times. I'm not saying we're promising this, but what I'm saying is the more you look, the luckier you look. It's not luck. It's about having the right people and having hustle. When you're out there, the more you're out there, the luckier you look to the untrained eye. All right, how do people get a hold of you? I see your phone number there. All right, so my, I've had my number for like over 20 years, y'all. So if you, wow. if you had it in the past, you, you probably still have it in your phone, but yeah. my number is 415-756-4418. You call me or text me, whatever is whatever floats your boat. How about you, Ed? Yeah, same thing. I got my number right there, 415-368-1149. Best thing for me is text me. Just tell me who you are and who referred you and let's get you on a free consultation and let's talk this out. Let's get some strategy going. All right, guys. Thank Happy you. holidays. Happy holidays. Keep safe and keep healthy. Take care. All right. 2021, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm excited. Here we go.